Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings for NVIDIA GeForce Now and how to fix all kind of error including network and lag issues with GeForce Now. Make sure you guys watch this video till the end and don't miss any step for better results. Also, 96.8% of you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel, so please do me a favor, consider hitting the subscribe button, it helps me out a lot. And also, I make GeForce Now guide every single month with every single update, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel to stay updated with GeForce Now. And with all that said, let's get started with the video. Alright, let's begin with the first thing that is making a system restore point. For that, press the Windows key and then type in create a restore point. Now you'll be coming to a screen like this. So all you have to do is select your local disk C, hit create and name it geforce now then hit create and give your pc a little bit of time until it makes a restore point once the restore point was created successfully hit close and close this thing now let's come over to the first step that is network reset press windows key together and then type in network reset you'll be coming to a screen like this hit reset now and hit yes Doing this process will also undo all of the changes that you have done previously to your network and follow the fresh settings. Now once you've restarted your PC, the first thing to do is go to control panel. Now once you are here, go to network and internet and then go to network and sharing center. Now over here, you'll find your ethernet or your Wi-Fi. Just double click on this thing and then go to properties. Now once you are here, You'll find Internet Protocol version 4. Just double click on that and then click on this thing and use 8.8.8.8 .8 and the alternate server is 8.8.4.4. Then hit OK and then go to Configure and then go to Advanced. Now over here just follow the settings. These are the best advanced settings for your Ethernet or your Wi-Fi. Also, go to Power Management and make sure that all of these boxes are unchecked. Then, hit OK and hit Close. Now, I highly recommend you guys download the updated version of NVIDIA GeForce Now. If not, you'll also find an Update or an and Relaunch Now button over here, so you guys can update it right from the application. Now, once you are here, I highly recommend you guys select the game you play and then add the desktop shortcut over here. Now, once it's done, press the Windows key and then type in Graphic Settings. Now, once you are here, make sure that it's on and then Browse. Now, go to your desktop and add both the GeForce Now and Fortnite on GeForce Now in here. Once you have added both of these things, go to Options and then make sure to put it on High Performance. Now once you're with all of these steps, right click on NVIDIA GeForce Now and then open file location. Now once you are here, you have to download this GeForce Now pack, I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Extracting this pack, you'll find three folders over here. First one is for low end PC, second one is for medium end PC and the third one is for very low end PC. Now all of these folders contain a GeForce Now JSON file. Now if you have a low end PC, Double click on that, right click and hit edit, control A and control C, all of these things over here. Go to the GeForce Now location, right click on the GeForce Now.json, hit edit, hit control A and control V over here. This thing is gonna update all of those settings that we need to add over here. Once done with that, save the file and then close it. Once done with that, reopen GeForce Now and then go to settings. Scroll all the way down until you find the direct mouse input over here and make sure to turn it on. As of for the streaming quality and the server location, 
For selecting the best server, I highly recommend you guys watch two of these videos I've already made. This will help you out a lot to select the perfect server you play on. Now once you've selected the server for the streaming quality, I highly recommend you guys select custom and stretch all the way out to 50 Mbps if you have a better internet. If you have a really bad Wi-Fi, you can just scroll it all the way down. Or you can change it as per your wish and as per your Wi-Fi connection. I have a pretty good Wi-Fi so I'm going to be using 50 Mbps. The resolution, it can be 1280 by 720 as well as 1920 by 1080 I highly recommend you guys playing on 1920 by 1080 if you have a better Wi-Fi. If you don't have a good Wi-Fi, you guys can always play on 1280 by 800 or 1280 by 1024 or 1366 by 768 or also you guys can play on 1280 by 720. Also, make sure to put the frame rate on 60 FPS and the V-Sync to off or if you have a better connection, you guys can put it on adaptive. Also, make sure to adjust also, make sure to turn off the adjust for poor connect for connection and that's gonna be all for the best GeForce Now settings. So guys, I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more awesome guides like this. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking me for inverted colors and green screen on GeForce Now. So all of those errors are cause of GeForce Now updates. There are glitches from this server, so there's not much I can do. But also, you guys can write an email to GeForce Now and I hope GeForce Now will help you out with that. So that's all for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.